Peace and greetings to you. This is Omar Abdul Malik, the Physician Assistant Professional. In this video, I'm going to be giving my last installment on how to get into Physician Assistant School. Now, um, this is going to be covering the interview. So very quickly, this will be less than 10 minutes. You've made it to this point. Uh, by this time, some of you all that are, or many of you all, rather, you have either have gotten a rejection letter from PA school, or you've been invited for an interview. Most schools will be starting in, in late August. So they're in a rush right now to interview students. So you're going to be competing against hundreds, you know, maybe as many as you know, three or 500 other applicants at this point for about 30 slots on average. So very quickly, the three P's of the interview, punctuality, what I call appearance, appearance, but appearance and presentation. What do I mean by that? So punctuality. A lot of interviews are done early in the morning because people have things to do. So they can be done as early as seven o'clock in the morning. You need to show up to your interview site early. For many of you, it may be your first time on a particular campus. You know, you need to know exactly where you need to, to be on that campus, whether it's being interviewed in the hospital, in the health science library, actually in the College of Medicine or wherever, where do you need to be so that when they call your name for the interview, you know, nobody's looking around, well, where's the guy? We don't know. For those of you all who have to travel, you know, you need to make your travel plans such that you can be to your interview site a day in advance. Okay, that means, you know, get a plane ticket, a bus ticket, whatever you have to do. Uh, that's the onus is going to be on you to be there on time. Appearance. Everybody. Neat and modest. Neat and modest. So you want to look almost like you're going to a funeral. <laughs> so dark colors, preferably blue, gray, black, pinstripe suits. Ladies, long skirts past the knees. You know, have your hair in a bun or, or, or whatever. Don't experiment with various hair dyes or anything. Don't show cleavage. You know, I've had young ladies do that. I'm like, okay, why are you coming to the interview looking like you're interviewing for a job at Hooters Bar and Grill? You, know, you want to be conservative. Cover yourself up. You know, it, it's, it's, um, it's, it's important because your, your presentation, how you present to the, the interviewer, that's their first impression of you. How you look. If you have a beard, you know, like, a, like I do, make sure the beard is clean and neat. You know, there's no... Nothing dangly in the beard, no lint or anything. If you wear a headpiece, like if you're Muslim and you wear a hijab, or you like an Afrocentric head wrap or something like that, just make sure that it looks neat. If you wear a religious headpiece, like the Sikhs wear the turbans and you know observant Jews wear a yarmulke, some Muslims wear a, a kufi, just make sure it's neat. Now, with the types of interviews that you may have, there is the one-on-one, -on -one, oh, I'm sorry, here we go, one-on-one -on -one interview. This is just like having a conversation. I hope you can see that there. So it's going to be you and another interviewer or an interviewer. So this may be a faculty member or staff, a student, you know, an alumni, you know, or some, you know, a physician assistant who works at the, the hospital that's affiliated with the school. This is usually less stressful. Because it's just like having a conversation. Another type of interview is the two-on-one. So, two interviewers on one person. This is a little bit more stressful because now you may have one interviewer playing the good cop and the other one doing the bad cop. And this is this may be to test your uh, your stress level and how you handle stress. The here's a, a third interviewer. So, a group of interviewing interviewers, you know, asking questions of a prospective student. This is very stressful for, for many people because you're dealing with multiple personalities. One may be, you know, happy, hey, I'm happy that you're here. One may be like, well, how come you got a C in organic chemistry? Another may be like, I don't even want to be here. So you have to practice. I would suggest that you practice getting interviewed by multiple people, get some friends together and just have them shoot questions at you. I'm going to go over what types of questions um, you may 
experience on your interview. Another type. So a group of interviewers may be interviewing a group, simultaneously interviewing a group of students. This can be somewhat chaotic. This is what I had when I was interviewing for PA school. Uh, make sure that you shine because you will be compared to the other students with whom you are, are being interviewed. Um, you know, they're going to be asking you various questions. Here's the questions. So, what are some of your weaknesses? You know, you want to have weaknesses that are weaknesses, but not really weaknesses. So, things like, well, you know, I'm such a perfectionist. Or, you know, I, I strive so hard to, to, you know, acquire knowledge, you know, that, that sometimes I just get frustrated with myself because I just want to be so knowledgeable. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Make your weakness a positive point about you. It, it, you. You have to be creative with how you answer that question. Um, here's a big question. like, Why do you want to be a physician assistant? You've already answered that in your personal statement, but now you have to verbally articulate it. The two are different. You know, Maybe somebody helped you with your personal statement, or you had a chance to do you know, drafts of your personal statement, but now you've got to bring it. Why do you want to be a PA? And you need to, to be able to very quickly, succinctly articulate that and even expound on that answer. Here's another question. Why do you want to attend our school? You know, schools have different cultures. The physician assistant program at Howard University has a different culture than the physician assistant program at George Washington University. Or maybe the program at A.T. Steele University has got a different culture than that of University of Nebraska. Yeah, so you need to be able to articulate, this is why I want to come to this school. Maybe you want to practice rural medicine, or and that school is in a, a rural area, or you're really concerned about urban medicine, and the school to which you're applying has a good urban medical program. Or maybe the school is affiliated with a lot of research, and that's where your interests lie. So have very good reasons. It's going to require you to do some research on the school. Here, um, how do you handle stress? This is a question I would always ask students because PA school is going to be very stressful for, for many of you. Yeah, academically, financially, emotionally, physically. What do you do if you don't get in? I've had students freak out when they were asked this question. Why won't I get in? I don't know what I'll do. You know, I really want to get in. You know, why would I get in? You need to be able to answer that. You know, what'll you what'll happen if you don't get in? You can say, well, you know, I'll continue working in my field. I'll take some more classes to make myself a stronger ap applicant next year. What you should not be asked, you should not be asked questions about your religion, okay? Are you Muslim? Are you Christian? You know, who's your Lord and Savior? You know, um, what well, God, you're an atheist. Uh, you shouldn't be asked the questions about your religious beliefs. You should not be asked questions about any health care issues that they may think you have. So, uh, do you have like bipolar, paranoid, schizoaffective thing going on? Nobody should ask you about that. They shouldn't ask you questions about your sexual orientation. You should not be asked questions about your race. You should not be asked questions about your marital status or your financial status. So, how do you plan on paying for PA school? or? Aren't you like the son of Bill Gates? You know, why do you want to be a PA? You're already going to inherit billions of dollars. Nobody has the right to ask to ask you about your financial statement. Um, they're not going to ask you medical questions, you know, advanced medical questions. So a question that you have as a student, you say, well, why should I come to your school? You know, why should I attend your program? You know, because you as the prospective student, you're interviewing the school also. So I hope these things helped you. You know, um, you know, please contact me. You know, subscribe to my site and I'll answer your questions as best I can in a timely manner. Take care. Peace. I wish you the best of success. I hope all of you all get into PA school and make it through. Take care.